All right, we're gonna install these Phillips Daylight 4s into this 2007 Ford Mustang six cylinder. See how it goes. We got it up on the lift and we're gonna get started. So we got these lights, two of them. These are the brackets and now on the car. There's a three, 3M bracket. Three. We're putting 3M tape on the bottom. We're gonna mount it on the car. Then we're gonna make our hole with a secret technique which we'll show you here in a second. All right, so now we've got one of the brackets mounted. It's got a 3M tape sitting right there. We're gonna do the other one now. Do that one, Mark. It's flush there. You got them exactly flush. Spacing wise. Maybe a little more to the left. Well, I don't know. Where you got. You, you are closer on this side. All right, this is the trick. Since there's no possible way to drill holes in here, we're gonna heat this. Allen wrench, and we're gonna strategically melt a hole, just like that. And do it again. Now we should both screw the screws in. And as we did before, we've got the secret tool of the day, which is this bendy 90 degree Phillips head screwdriver. So in about a half hour, we'll get these four screws in because it's a pain in the ass. Where's your screws? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that should be good. It's 
started. Mm -hmm. It sucks, dude. That's a good energy one. It's going all right. I think. Those are fast. Have you gotten that one started? Yeah, I think I finally got it started. Yeah, I got it started now. Yeah. Alright, so now we got the lights ran the way we need to. We got the shorter wire. The battery is up on the top of this car on this side, so the short one we make it to the battery, and then there's one cord that's longer, so we can make it all the way to the battery from this side of the car. I got this plastic tubing. I'm gonna plastic tube everything all the way up to the battery. So I'm gonna zip tie and try to keep it away from anything that's hot. Three hours later. <laughs> Still getting all the wires in the pole. Well, you kind of consolidated, don't you? In the one. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like, it, it only took us 10 minutes to start the finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to, all right, first put the screw in, then it skips to, all right, we're done. <laughs> the lights are on. All right, so we got behind here, I've got this, all the cables going through this black tubing and I took 3M tape, since there's no place to zip tie anything under here, just this 3M tape's gonna stick, keep this cord there. I'm gonna put some electrical tape here, and then we're gonna fish this up through the engine anywhere there's no fans or heat and go to the battery. So that 3M tape gonna get uh, sticky with uh, it's stuck right now. I don't think it's going anywhere. That shit sticks. It sticks. It is dusty, but it'll be all right. Cool. So I need some electrical tape. I gotta tape this shit up real good here. Electrical tape right there. Where? On the, uh... Well, hand it to me, because I can't get up and move. Seriously?
here. Zip tied. Zip. Offside on this, right? Yeah, because if you move move it off, you're not scratching up anything or anything like that. That's gay. What was that? A wreck in front of Hess at by Ken's house. Took out. That's the accident of the corner. Knocked out the power of the Hess. Too bad. No one got hurt. Oh, she was pumping gas. <laughs> so, no power, no pay. So she got a free tank of gas. But now she has no power. And she's got to do all these reports to work. Stop on the module. That's my chance. Uh... Good luck sticking that in the right spot the first time. Just laying down on that thing. You see? flat spot. Oh, yes. Should be fine. It might rattle. I doubt it's going to rattle. Well, it's on a flat spot. I mean, it's as flat as it's ever been. Uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem with it. The only other place I could have put it would have been right in here. Do you want to plug those lights in and do a test run on it? Put a, they should be right there in front of you. It doesn't matter which one it is. Doesn't? No, left and right? There's no left or right. They're both on all the time. Should be over the Undo that and get a wrench. So they don't know that it's on until your car is actually started, huh?
and do a test in a second. Whatever you do, don't put it in gear. Make sure it's keep it in neutral. Yeah, because you're off the ground. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to. Um, you can just reach in and start it, can't you? Yeah. You know it's in neutral. Put the key on it. What? I just have to turn the key. I don't even need to start it. Nah, start it. They're on. Yeah. Now we want to snap these into the brackets. We did the test, you saw that worked. Once these things are in, they don't come out. They're, they're in. <laughs> that's why we didn't snap the first one, make sure they all worked. And that's a wrap on those. That one didn't snap in all the way. The last thing we gotta do is just zip tie a few things up. And it should be done. Just run, you know, zip tie, a couple of zip ties around those things just to put whatever you wherever you wanna do it. You know, maybe zip tie one right here to there. You don't need too many. You just want. I'm running under here, right? Yeah, you don't want to have it flopping around anywhere. Just do it probably two or three of them. That'll be good enough. It's not going anywhere. Put it in. You'll know. Yeah, that's the way it goes. If it doesn't, then it turns the other way. But that's the way. And then take some scissors and cut it. Alright, we got a successful light install. Clean up our mess and we're out of here. test after completion look at that bright ass light